It's so slick, nothing will stick. S'mores, shrimp, block of cheese, chicken breasts, my vegetables. All of this I'm hoping to cook in about 15 minutes. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you a brand new As Seen on Television product. Today we're trying this guy. Spike Express Grill by Granite Stone. Granite Stone Diamond. Blue Diamond. The world's first countertop speed grill with maximum flavor infusion spikes. The new grill is called Spike Grill because it has like little spikes on it that supposedly, based on the infomercial, which was super dramatic. Tired of piling on tons of spice just to make food on the indoor grill taste nice? With the lady marinating. Sick of marinating all day. The grill has little spikes that's gonna help with marinate. Now when you season your food, the Spike Express grill actually drives it down into the food. Tenderizing. The spikes tenderize your food to drive marinade and seasoning in on both sides at once. And cooking two times faster than a normal grill. The spikes are on both sides of the grill. You'll speed cook your food up to twice as fast. The infomercial made me question all kinds of things. The food didn't look right. It looked a little bit too perfect for me. Maximum flavor infusion and gourmet taste. The infomercial brags about it having kind of a slope to let the grease out. The slanted design drains the fat out of your diet. Honey, sweetie, baby, that's been done. The reason they pulled me in was because of the little spikes in there. I thought, okay, if that works, that might help with speeding up the cooking process. Grill these gourmet burgers with all the flavor, but none of the fat in two minutes flat. I'm not sure how it helps marinate. I don't think it's piercing the food. I just think it's kind of pressing it down a little bit more. I don't know. In the infomercial, they did make it seem like it was like piercing the food. Marinade and seasoning in on both sides at once. It is a little larger than I thought it was going to be. Let's look at the inside. I thought this was going to be removable. You know why I thought that? Because in the infomercial, they're showing you how they make the trays. The secret is in the maximum flavor infusion spikes that are pressed into the cooking surfaces for even heat conduction. So it almost put in my head that they might be removable, but they're not. Another part of the infomercial shows the lady like just rinsing the food off of here to clean it. Away free and rinse is clean. I don't think so. Those are spikes. If food gets in there, it's gonna take more than just a little rinse with water to get this stuff off. Oh, we even get a little sponge. If you haven't watched my silicone sponge video, it's this video here. You should go watch it because Girl, <laughs> get out of here with that. So we get a little manual, no recipe book, and this thing was 40 bucks. In the infomercial, they said the chicken is going to cook in six minutes. I expect my chicken and my potatoes and my carrots all to cook in here. Grilled chicken breasts, moist, delicious, and full of flavor in just six minutes. In six minutes, just like you showed me in that infomercial. They also cooked frozen shrimp in under 10 minutes. And the best part is the example that they use with the block of cheese, talking about it's not gonna stick. It's so slick, nothing will stick. I think we all kind of know this, but the people that are making the infomercials don't know yet. When you use the cheese won't stick scenarios in your infomercial, it's kind of silly because cheese is pure fat and oil. <laughs> so I don't know where this started. I don't know who started this rumor, but all infomercials include the cheese won't stick line. One more thing about the infomercial. If people come over and your food is all spiked up, is that cute? <laughs> because there was a part of that infomercial that I went, oh my god, all that food has holes in it. I don't know if that's gonna make people want to eat your food. Did you see the quesadillas in there? Chicken and cheese quesadillas that just don't stick. We're gonna do s'mores. I have a can of my favorite Diet Dr. Pepper over there because on their website, they're saying this is not gonna scratch and they used a can. Is metal utensil safe? I have my block of cheese. All of this I'm hoping to cook in about 15 minutes. In this side-by-side -side demonstration, Spike Express Grill is faster, juicier, and more flavorful than the competition. I hate when these things don't have any kind of power buttons or timers. It's really a basic-ass little grill. 
you plug it in, boom, that's how it starts. For 40 bucks, y'all need to throw in a power button and a little timer so we know how long it's been cooking. When you plug it in, the red light just turns on. Once it gets hot enough, it will go green so you can put your food in. You're also gonna get this little drip tray that you put underneath. Our green light is on, so we're gonna start with our shrimp. Shrimp from frozen to fork in less than 10 minutes. Are we supposed to push it down to drive the marinade in and to cook it faster, or do we just close it and sit it on top? They didn't say that in the infomercial. I wanna push it down because I want the spikes to spike my food really good. Okay, ready, one, two, three, go. Oh, it is spiking my food, look at it. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so it spiked my food. See, I keep doing that and it keeps wanting to tip over. So I should stop. I think the shrimp are done. You're telling me I'm just gonna be able to wipe all this off with a little bit of water? I don't know about that. Unplugged, it's off. Did that food look staged like too perfect? Teriyaki glazed salmon in just four minutes. My shit don't look that perfect. And my grill's looking rough. So I'm looking through the shrimp. I don't see anything that pierced anything. Did they attach to the spikes because of the heat? Yes. Did it penetrate the sh No. It does have a brand new non-stick surface on there, so it wasn't horrible to clean, but it was not as easy as they showed us in that infomercial. This wasn't in the infomercial. This was just on their website. And so I don't know what the hell the point of this was, but I wanted to try it. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Are my spikes scratched? Let's check that. No, no scratches. It's so slick, nothing will stick. They're trying to show us that the cheese is not stick, but dum dum, that's all oil. I also think that the point of the cheese was to show us how fast it melts a block of cheese. Hold on, let's let it preheat. And because this is a lot of cheese that's gonna be oozing out, my little drip tray is not gonna be enough, so I'm just gonna put this plate under it. Isn't that a better idea? I think so. It smells like seafood. So our green light is on. I'm not gonna touch it, cause in the infomercial, they just left it alone. <sighs> it's gonna fall out. I don't wanna push it, but I wanna push it. Ew, look at the cheese sliding right off. Look at all the grease sliding right off too. It's like sliding down. Nearly eight minutes have passed. Gotta push it back. I know it was a huge block of cheese, but my spikes should have helped. Nearly 10 minutes and we're still melting the cheese. Let's go clean this to see how hard it is to take off. Here we go, look at that. Non-stick. <laughs> so the cheese popped right off of here when I got it to the sink. <laughs> so it didn't stick. Now let's do some s'mores. These campfire s'mores, ooey gooey and delicious. In our beautiful indoor grill with spikes. S'mores are pretty straightforward. There's a s'more. We'll do two. Okay, number two. Oh, s'mores are the best, aren't they? I'm gonna do one in the front and one in the back. My s'mores are gonna be chocolate, marshmallows, graham crackers, a little bit of shrimp, and a little bit of cheese. That's the flavor. Hope you like it. I took a peek in there. It's looking kind of good. Listen, so far they've passed all of my tests. Couple of little hiccups here and there, but nothing for me to go, I hate you. <gasps> Let's power it off. I'm gonna take a Vivian head off for that one. Let's put it on the table. Okay, so the spikes did pierce the top of this thing. So, I mean, it didn't pierce right through, but I can definitely see the little burn mark. So I'm gonna say it passed the s'mores test. The marshmallow is ooey gooey. The chocolate is perfectly melted. Let's try the chicken now. In the infomercial, they made it seem like we're gonna cook a whole meal all in this one little grill. Both of our lights are on, so it is preheated. <laughs> Put in a couple of our potatoes. Look at this gourmet meal. Six minutes, set the timer. Okay, and guess who's under my desk? Jedi. I wanna push it down. I want it to penetrate my chicken. Don't just give me little dots on the top from just little grill marks. I want the spikes to push that seasoning all the way through, just like you told me in your infomercial. When my six minute timer is done, I'm gonna open it and we're gonna look at it. I haven't touched it. I'm not touching it. Time's up. Power off. 
<laughs> I'm gonna check the internal temperature of the chicken as well to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Close your eyes. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. Ta da! So before I cut into this chicken, and I am with a knife right here on the grill because this is a metal utensil safe. Let me tell you this. What I'm seeing from the spikes is a circle grill mark instead of the regular grill marks that we're used to. That's it. I don't think it's pushing anything through. I don't think it's piercing the meat. I don't think it's marinating. I think the spikes are just there as the new grill mark. Before I cut into it, let's just check the internal temperature of the chicken. 189, so the chicken is cooked. Okay, it's cooked. Is my little baby potato cooked? Perfectly. Now let's cut our chicken. Does it look as good as the infomercial? No, but it's cooked. <laughs> That's movie magic on the infomercial. So it passed the test. The only test I'm gonna say this thing did not pass is going to be the piercing, marinating, seasoning claim in the infomercial. Everything else pretty much passed my test. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Granite Stone Spike Grill three. Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Is metal utensil safe? It's not scratch.